Hi. Good morning. Could be evening. Well, not evening because it's light out. Back to the vlog. My name is Bernadette. This is another workout, all body weight. Um, exercises are simple. Well, the format is. It is one minute, two strength moves, one minute each, 30 seconds of cardio in between. There are four rounds that we'll do. At the end, we'll do some quick um, ab, 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. And then after that, we're done. So I think it might come out to 45 minutes around there, maybe. Um, but we'll start with a warm up. You can always add music if you want to the background. I may end up doing this in the final edit of this video because I can't stand working out without music. So, just to show you really quick what our first round is going to consist of, you can either be modified push-ups, okay, tops of your, tops of your knees, hands right around your chest, and come down and up, meeting with your chest, so that's going to be your first minute, your second, or you can do on your toes, whatever you prefer. I'm actually going to keep them modified because I've been working like every day while I'm doing push-ups, so arms are a little dead. Then after that, you're going to pop up. You're going to squat down, and when I say squat down, knees stay behind your toes, and you can check yourself out to make sure. You're going to squat down, and then you're just going to take your foot, flex your foot, side leg lift, nice and slow. And we'll stay on one leg for the first minute, then we'll do the other leg on the second minute. So, and then your cardio in between is just going to be lateral jumps, side to side. So you can take it here, or you can bring them up high, okay? So let's get started with just a warm up. Three minutes of warming up. I'll have the timer in front of me the entire time. So I'll try to be good at telling you how much time is left. I notice I didn't put my phone on. Do not disturb. So hopefully nobody disturbs me during this. Jumping back and forth, side to side. Keep doing that. I'm going to just make sure I have my water over here. Right now it's over here. And then from there, I just want you to take it here. The purpose of our warm up is gradually increasing our heart rate, warming up our muscles. So really pulling back with your legs, making sure you're feeling it, stretching, warming up your quads, hamstrings. Then I want you to just bring the knees in front, arms up high, crunch them down into your knee. And then turning that to your seconds, I just want to do jumping jacks. In four, three, two, one, take it right here. Remember, it's one minute of push-ups, I'm not high push-ups, 30 seconds of lateral jumps, Second strength move, 
kwa unasaada hiyo. chest only. But at least try one on your toes. Let's get started. All right? So try one on your toes and I'll do that too. Leading with your chest. Okay, not like leading with your neck. You need to stay in hold plank if you want to. All right, and then we're immediately up. And let that foot come down. Remember to be here. Slow. Sit to side. Sitting back in your squat, I'll show you from the side, pushing my hips back up, setting my butt back, I'm always looking down watching my knees, I'm just going to finish this one out, and then sit back. step over or a chair over. So keep going with your cardio. We're going to be using this chair today to assist us. My assistant for chair. So you want cardio? And 10 second break. Set yourself up. Very modified push-ups. on my toes, then modify a couple.
two-minute break. You need to keep checking my watch and checking my heart rate. Very important. Make sure you're checking your heart rate to make sure. But if it's a, if it's difficult for you sometimes to talk, take a second. You do want to be in that zone a little bit. Not the entire time. You may need to take some deep breaths. Last round here, so I'm just being. Jacks. 
triceps. Do your best. Take your time. These are tough. They're so effective. So scrape your leg back along the chair. Elbows stay close to the body. Go straight back. Push it through my palm on the way up. When you work out every day, you just get tired very, very quickly. Even holding the reverse plank is difficult. We're in the same okay. Either on the chair or on the ground. So the idea is you're pulsing at the bottom. Second one mouth pad here. down, bring it right along the bottom of the chair, elbows going back, it's really all body weight, and it's okay, she's going to talk for a second, it's okay, because she's bringing her wrist start to hurt, you will gradually build up that strength, I guarantee you, if you come to my pile classes, we work a lot with building wrist strength there. Oh, it burns. Oh, yeah, you're just holding that.
go on again. <laughs> Take a break, grab a drink. When you're coming down. Four. Halfway done, that's pretty impressive. Your first move, you have multiple options. Again, as usual. I want you to come to runner's lunge. Okay, so hands are in the middle. I want this back leg to come through this hand and this leg. So what happens is, you come here, hold. Your options are come through and come to the ground, all right? Or you have your body weight up. I want you to come back, and I want you to stay on that one side. Your other option is, just come and bring that foot and tap it in and then bring it back into your other lunge. Number two, you're on your hands and knees, and then you're just gonna hover your knees just above the ground. Beast. Shoulders trying to stay over the wrist. You're gonna need to take breaks there. It's a long, nasty minute. And in between, we're gonna come up and do high knees, okay? Option to get high knees. Here. Or here. But I want your arms to stay in it. Because that's what's going to bring your heart rate up. Okay, so runner's lunge starting to the side. I'm going to turn my mat. Well, I'm going to leave it like this. 10 seconds left, and then we're going. I'm going to set myself up here. Come to here, come back, bring the leg back. So leg to here, here, and back. Or you're here, tap, here, back. Wherever you need to be. Your other modification here, come down, then come back. Move in Pio. It's called a kick through. This is nice so you get to see my struggles through these. I'm gonna hold my till the end. Halfway. My legs are shot from spinning. I love spinning. But oh, man, it kills your legs. Ten seconds play through. I'm shaking. Side. 
my arms are going to fall off. See, I'm the biggest club in the world up here, too. Plus, you 10 seconds. when you need them. It's not easy at all. <clears throat> I'm going to try to go to half here. I got this. I can get it. I can do it. I'm strong. Take a couple seconds here. Turn out my legs. Okay, 20 seconds. 20 seconds only. It's all in my head. It is all in my head. All in my head. I'm getting over a cold. Keep driving, you know. Twenty seconds left. 
Where's my heart rate? It's probably down, uh, down a lot. Good. Which is fine, that's why it's intervals, right? Bring it down, and you spike it back up, make it work harder. So, coming into down dog, into down dog. Come into plank, knee to elbow. Four, three, two, one, back up. You can also do four, three, two, one, come up the single leg down dog. Your other modifications here, keep going if you're doing it the regular way. You can just rest your knee down, okay? We don't get as much out of that. Or you can just come forward to plank. Four, three, two, one. Or come forward to modify plank. I'll do one, four, three, two, one. I'll do one in our modified version. Four, three, two, one. Okay? I'm still getting an arm workout, and I'm still getting a workout out of that. All right. Coming up. Dusty. Your breath moves quick. Pushing through your palms. You can even keep these the regular push ups too, so your hands come out wider. Elbows wide to the side. Tricep push ups are hard. And they really give you good arms. Sun's out, thumbs out today. Shoulders coming over your wrists. Another classic pile move. See how these body weight moves from pile come into here? Why don't you come try out pile sometime? It is so much fun. Everyone is 
push-ups. Last little bit here, and then we're doing abs. 30 seconds for each abby, and then we're done. I'm going to alternate between regular push-ups and tricep push-ups. <clears throat> the difference is tricep push-ups, elbows close to the body, elbows go straight back. Regular push-ups, arms drop farther, elbows go out to the side. You definitely feel different muscles working. Tricep push-ups are not easy at all. It takes a long time to build up that tricep strength to do them, especially with body weight. So our abs are going to be slow bicycle crunches. I'll cue you in a switch. And then we're going to do inside and over your chest. No, actually, I'm changing. Okay? Put again. Okay, so first one. Gonna be down. Gonna change the whole format on. This knee, this shoulder. Trying to get to it. Hands behind the head, stabilize the neck, neck stays nice and open. Nice and open, I'll go to the side. Nice and open, pulse. Trying to get this shoulder, this knee. Take breaks when you need it, shoulders are off the mat. In between, we'll just do bicycle crunches for 30 seconds. Then our other will be Shoulders are off the mat, and then you're just trying to reach for the inside of your ankle. Feeling your obliques side to side, trying to keep the neck open. Don't restrict your neck down. Then we'll do the knee crunches on the other side, bicycle crunches in between. Always remember when you do right hip crunches, shoulders come off the mat. 45 second break here. And then I think this will be our last round. It's going to be all she wrote. A little stretch. 30 seconds. Shoulders off the mat. Right knee to right, left knee to right elbow. Or right shoulder to left knee. Holy cow. Little pulse. Pulse. Breathing out when you're doing the work. Next day is open. Arms are just there to support. You're not pulling in, you're not pulling your neck up. Okay, focus on that right shoulder. You're not a, you're ready to point attention and just pulse me. Shoulders 
come up, and then just reaching in the inside of your ankle. It's totally okay if you can't get there, okay? But you're still reaching for it, still feeling the crunch in your side obliques. Sometimes I, again, like to put my arm up to support my neck, but I like to keep it open, keep my gaze towards the ceiling. Around so you can take breaks. We want to try to take short breaks. Challenge yourself. I always say that. You're not going to get better by saying the same. 10 seconds. Take a couple seconds break here. Bicycle crunches, let's go. So I was always focusing on shoulder to knee, not elbow to knee. Remember where you're at, okay? You can totally do this. You can totally use this 30 seconds as a break. This is not an easy ad round. 30 and 30 sounded much easier. But I don't think that way. Inside ankle reaches. Last one of these. So what we have left are these. Bicycle crunches. Now we're stretching. round hard, all the way to the end, 20 seconds.
Hope you found this one challenging. And bring your knees into your chest. Good job, knees. Good job. You can roll from side to side. Give yourself a little bit of massage. I want you to put your left leg down on the ground, your right knee. I want you to take it across your body and then take your gaze over to the right side. So the right knee falls over your left leg. And then bring that one back up. Switch legs so the left knee comes in. Drop that one to the right side. Take your gaze over. How's your gaze over to me? How are you doing? Do private, I also do private sessions in here. If you're not comfortable with being in a group, I get it. I do PIO. I'll probably be doing a PIO workout, maybe a full one, four times. Um, twisting, and then I just want you to bring your left hand across your body. But also do total body stuff down here, hit whatever fitness level you're at. Like, don't look at this workout and go, oh my god, that's what her trainings are like, I'm going to die. Because they're not all like that. And we, I, the, the best thing about personal sessions is that we go at where your level's at, and we push you to be way better. Because everyone that steps in here, or everyone that steps into my classes, is push the other side. You have potential that you don't know yet that you have. And by staying in your routine, you'll get there. You're not going to get there by not doing anything and complaining. And then 
come up. I want you just to come into a little ball, pushing your butt back, weight in your heels. I'm going to stop my little flip bit. And then I want you just to stand tall, keep your knees soft, just lean forward, stretching out your hamstrings. Pushing your butt back. Slowly roll yourself up, taking deep breaths in, just making sure that when you come up here, if you need a second to kind of just collect yourself, do it. The sun's not out, it's raining. Sun's not out, but your guns are always out. Roll your shoulders back. Turn it off my fan because now I'm sweaty and cold. You rocked it. If I was watching, it'd be creepy. And you can totally work out in your underwear. I made it done once or twice. So, oh my God, as usual, gym hair just don't care. So get out, visit the site. I think I might even have it in this corner. Come to a class. Ask your gym if they can have a class. And there was something else I was going to say, but I can't think of it. Oh, <sighs> most important, support gyms, support local instructors. Go to the gym, go to classes. We're all fun people. We're all weird, crazy fitness people that like working out and like to get paid to do it. But there are some awesome instructors on the island. I've been perusing around and going to some and... I'm proud to I'm proud to now be an islander teaching on the island. Before I was a girl from Pennsylvania teaching. But now I'm proud to teach here. So if you want more classes, if you want more of these, if you want to come and play in the studio with me, shoot me a message. Alright? And I can't say have well, oh, have a good weekend. Have a good rest of your day, night. This is when I ramble. This is when the tapes cut me off, like this. <laughs>